Hey guys, how's it going today? Today, I'm doing something a little different than our original Let's Play. Today, I will be starting a new mini-series on tips and tricks in Dark Cloud 2. I know there's people out here that want to know more about Dark Cloud 2 and how to scale by the game a little easier because the game's mostly level grinding, uh, level grinding and collecting money to level up your weapons. So I have some tips and tricks to pass that time a little easier. Alright, so go into my game here real quick. First, everyone wants money, right? Not more than medals, but most people would like money in this game. And there's a way to get infinite money. I'm going to go to a place where uh, there, m there might be a little more lighting, but, uh, okay. So, the easiest way I found for a money glitch is a lure method. Most people might know this, most people might not. If you do know this, well, I have tons of other tips and tricks to show you. Uh, this one that I'm about to show you um, is very simple. Uh, and I'll... Might as well show you. So, there's multiple different ways to get infinite amount of money. But, this one by far gets you the most money. So, you go into your items menu, and you have to have at least two, uh, two lures, two lures, ah, I can't say that word. Uh, at least two. So, see I have two frogs here. So, I'm going to uh, equip my f uh, lure rod and equip this frog. So now you see I have a frog equipped. Um, now what you do is you go to like the ride pod or Monica and now you just rapidly uh, put lure on pull for the frog and so you just random, randomly hit X, or rapidly hit X as fast as you can. I'm going to stop here, but uh, so the speed the episode has been long a little quicker. I just hit it about four or five times, or maybe eight, and I have 21 frogs now. So if I remove that lure, uh, remove them, uh, I'm going to put that back on. So now I have 22, and uh, no one needs 22 of them. No one needs two of them. Unless you want to use this glitch. And I have my fishing rod out. Let me just switch to like a speed of club. So we'll go uh, to any uh, uh, merchant ra other than Mare Need. And you go to their purchase menu or whatever you want to call it. You go to your lures or in our case the frogs. You go to 22. Go down to... So you can save, uh, so you can save your, um, two for, so you can do it anytime you want. So you don't have to go buy lures over and over and over again. So, uh, you can do this with any lure. Uh, I recommend going all the way because that's only like 6,000 that buys you basically nothing in the game. Um, what I do is I, uh, go all the way up. To 997. I try to only go to like 950. Don't go higher than 999. Uh, if you do that and uh, put your lures back in your menu, it will erase every single one, all 999 of them, which is about 10 minutes of rapidly clicking. It sucks to lose them all. Uh, also, if you're in the middle of one, uh, yeah, let me show you. Uh, so the first one, uh, you're putting on your lure, and make sure you don't rapidly click with max on, or you will not get any money. Say, you're rapidly clicking, and you move the max to check how many you have, and then you go back up to rapidly click some more, and you forget about it, well, you just lost all of your progress. So don't do that when you're at 520. So that there's your warning for the lure glitch, um, but so far 
I have 9,654. And why I have so little is I'll show you now on the next tips and trick. Okay. Money saving. This is a big issue in Dark Cloud 2. Because you go in your dungeon, you don't have any escape powder. If you do, you don't have to worry about this. But if you don't have any escape powder and you're trying to leave, you're going to lose half your money. Which sucks balls. I found a way to uh, uh, store your money. Uh, since gold bars have the same buy and sell price, what you do is you buy as much of those as humanly possible. And you just keep them like that. And uh, you, don't lose your, you don't lose your money when you go into uh, uh, leave dungeons because this is an item. You don't lose items. And this equals $193,000. That's a lot of money. Uh, and I got it all with the lure rod. So if I go back to Conda here, he's the one that sells the gold bars. You can find them in the back of any one of your trains. You scroll to the bottom here. Not the bottom. Right here. And it says 1,000, right? So I'm going to buy nine of them because I only have 9,000. So now I have 654. Now, I don't, I don't uh, like 654, so I, whenever I want to uh, ex exchange my money back, the sell price is 1,000, so I'll just get 9 back. Boom. Easy. And now I'll, I'll just get, just keep transferring my money, not losing any of it, which is great. Because most items, see if I buy this Forest Mountain Dew, uh, yeah, Forest Dew here, <laughs> Forest Mountain Dew. I buy it for 20 and I can only sell it for 5. So you're losing 75% of your money, which sucks. So don't do that. I'm just going to sell some useless things. Okay, now some, uh, some easy fishing methods that I use. Uh, fishing methods are going to get you so far in the game. Um, and I'll show you the fishing stats to upgrade your aquarium right now. And then I'll show you how to catch those massive whoppers. Like this one's 100 centimeter. Uh, okay. Let me show you how to boost your fish before I tell you how to catch your huge fish. That nonkey is 123 centimeter. I only caught it with the bait rod. You catch bigger fish with the lure rod. Okay, anyway. So, pricklies increase your tenacity of the fish. So you have tenacity, uh, stamina, endurance, and boost. Strength, you don't have to, you, you don't matter, don't bother with it. It doesn't help you in fishy, finny frenzy. Uh, anyway, prickly is tenacity. Mimi is, I believe, ah, shoot, stamina. Mimi is stamina, but it doesn't really do that much. EV is stamina, and it increases it by only one, but EV is much easier to get than I th no, 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 Mimi, uh, Mimi is endurance, EV stamina, carrot is boost, but it changes the gender, uh, potato cake is stamina, but it lowers the weight of your fish, uh, decreasing the strength, though, overall, destroying your fish in Finny Frenzy. Minion, uh, are boost. I love using minions so much because it just increases your boost like crazy. Baton, don't worry about it. And petite fish, endurance. I love using petite fish as well. I also use them to catch fish, same as Eevees. So I'll just, uh, okay. So my parameter of the fish, all, so let's see. Uh, I'll feed all my fish minions here. Uh, and I'll, sh uh, well, I'll feed all of them but one so I can show you how high the stats boost. So that's three, four, Five. So, ah, I just exited out. Okay. So, this next... No. The, okay, let me show you. So, my parameters... I haven't fed this yet. This has a boost of eight. And it might have been this one. So, my Nonkey has a boost of 39. And my Marden Garayan has a boost of eight. So... 8 and 39. So if those change, uh, or if the, a different fish was fed, we would know. Okay. So it's my Mardan Garayan, and now he, he, he was at a boost of 8. 
Now, if we look at him now, he's at a boost of nine. So you could feed your fish every two hours in game. So that means in a day, you'll have 12 more boost on your fish. It's, it's great. Like this fish, not gonna be as powerful as like my Piccoli at 60 boost, but it's still gonna be really fast. Uh, and boost isn't the only thing you wanna work on. You wanna work on your stamina and you wanna work on your endurance. Those are really important as well. Um, so, uh, next, how to catch the big whoppers. You know, those huge fish. I'll show you my fishing location. It's not that much of a secret, but some people don't know about it. And it's a great fishing place. You go to Shigura Village of the Boss Battle and uh, Ocean Shore. Now, some people might not have got to this yet. If you haven't, just go to Fish Monster Swap and do the same thing I am because it's really good uh, as well. Okay, so we're gonna equip our Lure Rod and equip our Minnow. The minnow minnows are the best to use. So, we're gonna go out here in the middle of the ocean and cast our line. It's good to have a long flight for lure rod so you can do your combination the best. Now, I have two combinations. One is a pain in the ass and barely works, and it's this one. Left, right, X, left, left, X, right. Now, if you didn't catch that, I'll say it slower. Left, right, X, left, left, X, right. And it should go like this. And that's a pain in the ass. The, the easier one to do uh, is more successful. Uh, weirdly. Uh, so it's just very simple. Left, 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 X, right, 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 X. So you're you're making quick motions, but you're also reeling in in the process. Let's see if I can get one real quick. So I don't have to be here for a couple of minutes because I only, and I only have three minutes left of this episode. When it gets too close, just reel back in, cast out again. Uh, mostly you're going to catch Kaji Hamma Hammas, and that's all in this place. If you use the Eevee bait, which I love to use, you're going to catch Bobos, and those are big fish. Those are heavy fish. Um, I would use, the, uh, to use those for the fishing contest. Uh, the only reason I go out and do this is to catch the big fish. Kajis are the heaviest and some most of the biggest fish. Biggest fish ever caught in Dark Cloud 2 was 172, 173 centimeters. That, uh, 173.9. But it was used for cheats. The, the biggest fish without cheats was 172 centimeters. And uh, that fish was caught by Pokemon Fan 42. Yeah, I'm advertising another Dark Cloud 2. Not my brightest hour. And right now we're getting extremely unlucky. The biggest fish I ever caught with using this combination was 100 centimeters. The biggest fish I uh, caught using the really complicated one was about 95. The biggest fish I ever caught bait fishing was that 127 donkey. And those, though, most people catch big fish when they're doing that. And I caught it at a... Uh, the pond and pond greens. Come on. Be nice to me. I'm doing a video. Oh god, I only have a minute left. So I got a minute to catch a freaking big fish. Ah. I'm telling you, this method does work, but you just gotta give it some time. Speed it up a little here. I'm getting ticked. Really, I'm really getting ticked. Oh god. Yeah, I don't even have enough time to reel in the fish. Well, I'll be seeing you next episode. This was a fail how to catch big fish. Ah, uh, coming down to 10 seconds. God damn it. Oh my god. Well, I'll see you guys next episode.
on the next tips and tricks. I'll show you more tips and tricks. Goodbye.